Hey guys and welcome back to the channel with a quick news update for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now before I get into the video guys make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying the content and let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the future for Star Wars games in general. But let's get straight into the video guys. Now of course we know that EA and DICE are no longer going to be working on big updates to Star Wars Battlefront 2. We're not going to get any more content uh, regarding the game unfortunately. Now there are a few things that I want to go over in this video such as a small patch that will be coming in a coming in the near future as well as petition to save Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now let's get into this guys. So as we all know that Star Wars Battlefront 2 had its last big update as the Battle of Scarif update and that was out uh, last week. It came out just over a week ago and you know it's been uh, you know a bit of an emotional ride this past week you know as uh, you know we're not getting any more content uh, in the future. We Like I said we will be getting small patches um, this one being one of them that is coming out uh, you know in a, in a, in a, in a little while. Um, we don't know when it's gonna be coming out. Ben did not specify. Um, it will be getting more details at the end of this next week coming um, so that is always good news to know. So we we are getting a small patch, um, which is going to be good news. A couple of fixes will be in it, um, possible ATST nerf. We're also getting changes to the Darth Maul skin uh, challenge because at the moment we need to get 5,000 kills with Darth Maul, and that's kind of ridiculous. It's also ridiculous that you know offline players who actually don't actually play the game online, who can't actually play the game online, can't get the skin either. So I think that that's a bit unfair for them. As well as if you guys remember the event appearances and the event emotes, you also need to get uh, you know kills or challenges done with them. And the Luke uh, Yab yeah, uh, Farm Boy skin and the Leia uh, Princess skin, which of course was the May the Fourth skin last year. Uh, is behind a 5,000 kill paywall as well with Luke and Leia respectively. Now again, again, this is not a great thing. Uh, I think Dice have realized this and they are actually going to tweak it. Um, ben actually came out on Twitter and said, yes, they'll be tweaking it. They're not sure how yet. They'll let us know when. Uh, They'll, they'll let us know as soon as they know pretty much. Um, they're not sure how they're going to do it yet. I guess they'll probably just reduce the amount of uh, kills or maybe even just do eliminations as well. Um, and maybe just make it do, do it offline, but you need to get more offline. Who knows? So, something like that, just so offline players who actually can't get it uh, can actually, you know, get it playing online so everyone can get the skin eventually. Now, if any of you guys are actually part of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 community, and I know probably most of you are um, if you guys are watching this video, but we have a petition for Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, made by the community, by the fans that want to continue the game if we have to, would you guys, so the question is basically, would you guys like to keep the game going, but we have to pay for, you know, the DLCs for the content instead of the free support? And this is what this petition basically is now. I'm an optimist, so I think this could actually do something. But again, I'm also part realist, so I would actually say that this probably will do nothing. Um, and EA and DICE have already made the decision. They're going to move on to Battlefield 6, um, which we all know that is going to happen. We're getting a battle, new Battlefield game in 2021 next year. Um, you know, so I don't think it's going to fix anything. Like I said, I still think we might get hot fixes and patches, uh, you, know, can't, you know, very, you know, rarely. Um, but, uh, cause there are a few, the game's not in its best state right now. It does need to be changed. You know, Vader, you know, is obviously one thing that needs to be changed that hopefully does get changed eventually. You know, lightsaber hit detection, just lightsaber combat in general. I don't think it will get an overhaul, but we could get some, you know, hit detection fi fixes, which would be very nice. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think needs to be changed in the game? I'm actually going to be, let me know. I would actually want to do a video of everything that needs to be changed in Battlefront 2. Um, you know, not massive changes, but you know, little tweaks and little things that could make the game a bit more, it could improve the gameplay a lot more and, you know, make the game last a long longer as well. So let me know if that's something you guys would look forward to. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you uh, in this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and let's get discussion going and let's try to say Battlefront 2 as best we can, even if we won't get any more content. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream, guys. And as always, may the force be with you all, always.